Hello, is this working? Hi, everyone. My name is Joyce. I am the president of Sound. I am. S <laughs> I am so sorry about our delays. We are ready to put on a show for you guys. So. Good evening, and welcome to tonight's performance. At this time, please silence all cell phones and other mobile devices. Please note that pictures and videos during the performance are not allowed. This show is being recorded, and that recording will be made available to the public. So for the sake of our other guests, please do not use your phone to record the show. Tonight's performance features audio-visual effects that may be intense for photosensitive viewers. At any time, if you require assistance, please quickly exit the theater and find a staff member. Thank you and enjoy the show.
Picture this. A hundred power kids stuffed into a tiny courtyard, dancing or really just jumping around while trying to yell at each other over ear-screeching music. Sounds like us, right? Add on the fact that we had just spent the past week in grueling five-hour rehearsals preparing for our upcoming show. Friday was the one day we were planning to free. It was inevitable that we would end up celebrating with our work the way college kids like to do. But one thing about sound is that most of our members are former music kids. Think your orchestra groups, your band parents, and your choir boys. The kids in high school who were always eating, sleeping, and reading music. The ones who had no social life outside of marching band competitions and orchestra concerts. So, yeah, we're a lot of fun.
big shot? You have to spend the night in the Littlefield house. Ooh. All right, thanks. I never miss. The Littlefield house is probably the creepiest building on campus. It's this sketchy Victorian style mansion that looks like it hasn't been inhabited for years. I have no idea what the building is used for right now, but I swear every time I pass by, I get goosebumps. If Ben didn't say that dear, or if he had it in that shot, I'm sure all of this would not have happened. Isn't it crazy how that one action changed the course of our entire night? Of course, I didn't know anything when we were walking to the little bit house. I just thought that we were about to spend the night in a creepy building. We handled our fear responsibly, the way all adults do, by cracking jokes and ignoring our subconscious feelings of impending doom. None of us wanted to admit it, but we were all scared. Okay, maybe not scared, but nervous. The way you feel when you turn off the lights downstairs. You know there's nothing in the dark, but you still have a sense of panic in your stomach when you walk up the stairs too slowly. And as it would turn out, that gut feeling was right this time. Hey, look, guys, it's not that scary at all. Looks like the power's out again. Good thing we have these flashlights. Okay, we have to be really quiet in case this place is actually haunted, so shh.
Passing out the flashlights, our courage came back. The little field house began to feel less and less like a haunted mansion, and more just an old abandoned building with unreliable electricity. We were ready. Guys, what's that on the wall? Read this closely, Texas sound, for secrets waiting to be found. The key you seek sits here tonight, cloaked in silence beyond the spotlight. Now follow my clues and read the room. Do this by midnight or meet your doom. Midnight? But we have rehearsal at midnight. Does that mean if we don't find all the clues, something bad will happen? Read the room. Where do we go to read the room? Dude, I'm a business major. I don't know how to read. <laughs> Well, here's the thing. I don't really study. I just kind of ask Chat GPT for all the answers. <laughs> oh, that's a great idea. Let's just ask Chat GPT where we can go to read the room.
Take a seat, hold your applause. A show is served to open jaws. This is a feast not eaten alone. My secret lies in flesh and bone. Flesh and bone? But I'm vegan. <laughs> oh, do you only eat fish? I thought that was pescatarian. Isn't that a keto? It's pronounced quinoa. <laughs> The chicken, let's go! As we walked towards Chester, I thought about the deadline that Will had warned us about. We were supposed to figure out the clues by midnight. Midnight is a special, strange time. The darkest hour of the night, but also the moment when the new day begins. Maybe this is the reason why we are so obsessed with the idea of midnight. Artists, Poets and musicians have written about the 12th hour for centuries. Think about it. Abba, giving the man after midnight. Michael Jackson's thriller happens close to midnight. Even Taylor Swift's new Midnight's album. In fact, the famous classical composer Camille Saint-Saëns wrote an orchestral piece about midnight on Halloween. There's this legend about death herself appearing at midnight and playing the fiddle to call the dead from their graves to dance for her. As our night progressed, I felt a sense of urgency in the new world. We didn't know what was going to happen at midnight, but we definitely didn't want to find out.
one building on campus that every UT student has been in. With 14 stories and two towers, it's the largest dorm at UT, and where the majority of freshmen live. There are many hot spots in the Jester building. There's a pizza shop downstairs, ping pong tables in the basement, and the lens that's open until 3 a.m. But the crown jewel of Jester would probably be the dining bed on the second floor, affectionately called J2. On any given day, you can find a range of culinary monstrosities being served here, from fried chicken to fried cream peas. I wasn't sure what we were going to find at J2 in the middle of the night, but I had watched enough horror movies to know that as long as I could run faster than everyone else in the group, I was probably okay.
well, I guess we just keep finding some more clues. Oh my gosh, Jack, you're so smart and cool. Those corners of the kitchen we haven't checked yet.
<laughs> Wait, guys. What if we tried scraping it instead?
different access. It felt like we knew where to go, but we still didn't know what we were looking for. What was this magical key to me? Wow. I feel like Walter White in here. <laughs> Is this what a science lab looks like? Mia, you're telling me you've never been in a science lab before? What do liberal arts majors even do? <laughs> Labs like these are where biology and chemistry come together to become the precursor to medical innovations. What starts here changes the world. <laughs> oh, yes. yes! Hey, Ananya, I think I can name more elements of the periodic table than you can. No way. There's, there's hydrogen and... Uh, and then there's... Uh, water? <laughs> What, Eli? I don't remember any pre-meds being in the Oval Office. Liberal arts can change the world, too. Last time I remember, a liberal arts major wasn't good enough to invent the lithium-ion battery. Oh, lithium! Oh, yeah. Enough messing around, guys. You've got to get started on the experiment. All right, everyone, check your solution levels. Look at the meniscus.
All right, everybody. The results are in. The person's initials to whom the skeleton belongs to are P, V, C. Who's that? Oh. It's not even real. It was made of plastic this whole time. Guys, you're telling me all of this for nothing? Wait, so the skeleton wasn't even a clue? It was just there to mislead us? A misleading clue? We call that a red herring in my literature class. I bet a pre-med wouldn't know that, Eli. Well, we tried so hard. We came so far. But at the end, it didn't even matter. Might as well just end the scene and roll the credits right now. Come on, guys. What do we do in times like these? Give up! No! Look. Four score in seven hours ago. Our sounding fathers brought forth on this continent a new nation. We, the people of Texas South, must band together in unity to overcome this roadblock. I have a dream that one day every single musician on this planet will be able to live in a society of unconventionality and creativity. Amen. Yes. yes. Ask not what sound can do for you. Ask what you can do for sound. Yes. yes.
true. Your shows keep life in front of you. Retrace your steps and think again. Go back to where it all began. Maybe you're thinking, maybe where Texas Sound begins? Oh, guys, I think I have, I got it. It's Speedway. Let's go. Oh, you're right. Speedway is this brick road that runs through the middle of campus. On weekdays, it fills with thousands of college students walking between classes. That makes Speedway the perfect spot for student orgs to promote their group to pacify. It's where sound was born. A year ago, we were just a group of college kids sitting on Speedway, playing Home Depot buckets with cheap drumsticks. But those performances drew attention, and with that attention came new members. Now that I look back on that night, it all makes sense. The night was about us and our group. Speedway was where it all began. Oh my gosh, guys, the bucket, they're here. It's like they're a love for us to play. Guys, come on, we don't have time for this. Come on, Preston, it's your favorite piece. It's sound buckets. No, but we have to find all the clues by midnight. Just no, but come on, I know. No, I don't really like this piece out loud. It's so boring. I don't really like it at all. I need to play. Do you want to?
matching your star. Watch my hand. The hour is time to find your place. Hand? Face? Guys, this has got to be the bell tower. Yeah. Of course, our night has led us to the VT Tower. The bell tower was the shining star in the heart of campus. Perhaps the most recognizable building in Austin, aside from the Capitol. The VT Tower stands 307 feet tall and has chimes that ring every 15 minutes a day. Whenever we win a football game, it's lit up in orange lights. It's literally the lighthouse of the university. But tonight, it looked foreboding. It was almost midnight. Very soon, it would be ringing 12 times to sell our job. taken care of. Wait, I might be on to something. Hola.
Meg and I have come and we have not found anything. It felt like we had failed. Thankfully, nothing else happened. No dead people came crawling out of their graves or anything. As we began the final show rehearsal, our crazy night on 40 began to fade away like a bad dream. Maybe the clues were wrong. We were safe. All we had to worry about was putting on a good show for the audience. After all, our performances aren't just about us. They're also about our listeners. When we perform for a crowd, we invite each and every audience member to join our shared experience. And that's when it hit me. The clues weren't wrong. We were just thinking about them the wrong way. We were supposed to read the room, but not a library. The room that mattered to us. The theater. It was the theater seats we needed to look for, not the seats at Jester's dining hall. Think about it. A clock isn't the only thing with hands and a face. What else has flesh and bone? What has been with us all along, hearing our tunes? What is sitting here tonight? right in front of us. Now listen closely, all around, for the secret of sound has truly been found. What we sought is indeed here tonight, sitting in silence beyond our spotlights. As midnight passes, here is the truth. The key to our show is simply you. Thank you everyone so much for coming tonight. We are so grateful that you guys all came out to support us and I can barely see you guys over the lights, but there are a lot of you guys and we are so glad that you guys are here. Again, thank you so much for um, bearing with us through all of our uh, technical struggles. We're glad to finally have been able to pull everything off. Um, I want to bring all of our performers on stage one more time so we can celebrate them. Oh yes, our most important member. So this year Sound, or this semester Sound has 27 amazing members. All of them were featured in today's show um, in multiple pieces. And um, we're just so glad to have performed for you guys. So thank you again for coming. semester wouldn't be possible without our set leaders. They are our musical writers and they teach the music. They come up with all of the beats that you guys have heard. So set leaders, could you guys step forward, please? Yeah, these individuals have dedicated so much time into sound. Again, all of the music that you guys heard today was written by these guys. And so um, we're very grateful for them. And we are excited to see more from them. We also have a fantastic leadership team. Um, Subi is our secretary and Reese is our vice president. And for those of you guys who um, want to stay connected to sound, um, we have a newsletter where every month we tell you guys about what we've been up to. Um, we do a lot more than just this show. So if you want to stay updated with that, feel free to visit our website. And then on your way out, there will be a QR code. We um, are having a fundraiser tonight. Um, so please um, consider donating and helping us buy more instruments and host more exciting performances. And I think that's it. Um, if you have a, a performer that you're looking for tonight, um, please wait for them outside so that we can kind of powwow and make sure everyone is still alive after that performance before we let them all out. Um, the last thing is, um, if you want another way to support us, 
Um, right outside, we have a merch booth, and we'll be selling T-shirts if you guys want to look like us. And we'll also have stickers. So, yeah, more ways to support us. Thank you so much again for coming.